The south of France is frequented by the more orange-coloured type of the lesser purple emperor. This much localised butterfly flies in two generations from May to the end of July and from the beginning of August until mid-September. It's most commonly found in the canopy of alluvial forest strips at the edge of riverbanks. This beautiful, rare and shy butterfly is especially attracted to the sap seeping from lesions of tree trunks. In the morning, the males can be found mud puddling on the riverbanks where they are attracted to mineral salts. The lesser purple emperor males differ from the females by a stunning iridescent purple colour on the upper side of their wings. Males defend their territory from a perch at the end of a leaf. It regularly flies over its territory in search of females and returns to its post. Fertilised females rest well hidden in the foliage and become active after one o'clock in the afternoon. The female lays single greenish eggs, mainly on the tip of the upper side of a leaf of the poplar. Within 24 hours, a brownish ring appears in the middle of the egg. A week later, and the caterpillar appears. The young caterpillar will eat the shell, rich in proteins and rests on the tip of the leaf. At this stage, the caterpillar eats the same leaf on which it's resting. The young caterpillars, five millimetres in size, give their whereabouts away by their characteristic eating patterns seen on the leaf on which they are feeding. Some days later, during the first molt, a pair of forked horns appear from under the exoskeletal head capsule, characteristic of this species. Body fluid is pumped into the horns to enlarge them. Very soon the green horns darken. And it will eat its old skin. The leaves can shake seriously in the wind. Therefore the caterpillars spin silk along their way as a kind of safety line.
Despite their excellent camouflage, many caterpillars fall prey to the golden orioles living in the canopy. When fully grown, the caterpillar goes in search of a suitable leaf. It will spin a silken bed on which the chrysalis will be fixed. Two days later, the transformation begins. The majority of lesser emperors hatch at the beginning of August, at sunrise. The iridescence of the upper side of the male's wings is due to the angle of the light reflecting off the scale structure. At the end of August, males and females feast on the abundant blackberries. In September, second generation males perch in the canopy and fly around in the hope of finding a female. At the end of the summer, the females lay their eggs preferentially on damaged leaves and ones with autumn coloured hues. End of August, a caterpillar hatches. The caterpillars change colour, becoming brown blending in with the discoloured leaf or the stem on which they rest. The brownish caterpillars select a bud or branch of their host tree on which to rest and overwinter. They remain uncovered and motionless throughout the winter. And as soon as the leaf buds burst, the caterpillars awake to feed on them. Gradually, the caterpillars turn green. When mature, the caterpillars transform into pupae. Then, around the end of May, the butterflies emerge. Although its habitat seems more or less intact, it is remarkable that this beautiful butterfly remains so elusive and rare in our region.